Good morning. Welcome to oh, huh. the Drunken Broads podcast. Decided it wanted to play. Um, welcome to a new vlog. It is February 1st already. January went by really fast. Supposedly, I start work in 15 days. We'll see if that's true or not. I will keep you updated, obviously. I do take my Sherm on the 13th, so in 12 days. I take that. We'll see if I pass it the first time. If not, I will schedule it again for another, you know, the next, whatever the next date slots are. And I will continue studying and take it again. I'm going to try and take that final exam that's on the learning system today when the baby naps. Hopefully, I don't have the same internet problems I had last time. I'm going to be double sure that it's connected to the internet before I click submit because I don't want to go through all that again. So we'll see if it improved or not or if it got worse. And we'll just see how it goes. I have to be really good about studying the next two weeks because I have to take it in 12 days. So we'll see how that goes. And we'll see what we get up to in this vlog gonna try and make it a little more entertaining because I'm tired of my videos being boring I am trying to make it more interesting and going to try just like let me know some things you want to see from me whether it's sit down videos or whatever um, just because I'm I need some help so I'm going to do that my camera is kind of breaking I have had it for several years though, like basically since I started YouTube, which was like three years ago or something. Um, yeah, I've had this camera for a while and I guess screws are coming out of it. Don't know how that's happening, but screws are coming out of it. So the screen is like wobbly and parts are falling and whatever. So eventually whenever I start working, I'm going to need to buy a new camera eventually, but that's not right now. I haven't even started work yet. So is what the baby's gonna wear today. She's just cute little pants that have cars on them. A little long sleeve shirt. I put on real clothes, kind of. It's like real clothes, cause it's a dress, but it's very comfy. And I took a shower and I ate my breakfast and I just started our laundry. And then I'm gonna do the baby's laundry after that. I did the dishes. I've been trying, I did all that while he was eating breakfast. I was trying to be productive. So now I'm gonna put on his clothes and then we're just gonna play for a little bit while his dad's at the gym. What are you doing? You making a mess in your room? Ready? And we toss a ball. We toss a ball. We toss a ball. Toss a ball. blow this up too because it's supposed to be up it's supposed to be up like that yeah it is a little deflated huh it's a little deflated huh he said I don't hang out in my room very often so I like this thing when I get to come in here I was changing his sheet getting him some new bedding in there well and then I just started his laundry so I just threw his sheet in there and his blankets with his laundry ours is in the dryer and I folded the hand towels, the kitchen towels that were in the dryer. Hi you. We. I also did my planner for February. I started planning it. I planned out the next two weeks for studying purposes and stuff. Since I take that test in 12 days. So I figured I would write down my study schedule and then the second half of February has basically nothing written on it because I don't know if I'm still gonna be studying because if I don't pass it, I will still be studying. But if I do pass it, I won't be, so we'll see. It is 
Tuesday, February 2nd now. I am heading to the gym now and it's like 8.30. I slept in because my alarm went off and I didn't accidentally fall asleep. I was like, if I can fall back asleep, I will. If I end up laying here for a few minutes and not being able to fall back asleep, because sometimes if I hear my alarm, I can't go back to bed, then I'll just get up and I'll go to the gym. But I was able to fall back asleep, so I ended up getting up at like 7.30. And I just had a tiny little snack. I just had like a, two granola bars. Um, just because I do, normally I'm already at home, already having breakfast at this time. Um, so I don't want to end up getting woozy during my workout or anything because I haven't eaten and my body's used to it. So I'm just heading to the gym now. I figured I will let my body sleep. I do have a few updates for you though. So my test was originally supposed to be on the 13th, but there's something exciting happening on the 13th now. So I actually rescheduled it for this coming Monday. So I take it in less than a week now but I did take the practice test yesterday and I got 190. And last time I took it, I had 180. So I did go up 10 points. I just need to go up another 10 points. Um, but a lot of the areas did improve. I only went down in like one area, but there was a couple of questions that I was like second guessing myself even though I like, so I'm gonna probably, I don't know if I'm gonna necessarily retake that one, but there is a 80 question like practice test on the learning system that I'll take probably not today, maybe like tomorrow or the day after that. Probably, yeah, probably tomorrow I'll take it. So today when I study, I'll just review more of the quizzes, retake them, and then maybe review some terms of things and then I'll retake that practice test. But I am taking my SHRM now on Monday instead of that next Saturday. So, but I'm doing that because Saturday, the 13th, I am driving down to Corvallis, which is four hours, a little, little over four hours away, um, because one of my old military buddies is a tattoo artist. So he's going to do my half sleeve for me for a very affordable price. Just, and that's only because he is newer, so he doesn't charge per hour, he charges per piece. So, he's working on the design of that now. I'm excited to see what it's gonna look like, but I'm doing that that Saturday, which is before I start work, which I wanted to do because I know I'm available and whatever. So, I wanted to do it then. So that's what I'm gonna do it. So I'm excited about it, but it made me reschedule my test technically for a week sooner. I could have done it just like a day sooner, but I know myself and I'm just gonna end up stressing the last week. So yeah, but I know this week, my brain thinks it's my second to last week. So I'm actually going to be studying, but I know myself and I know I will not actually get much studying done the last week if I waited another week. So I'm going to just take it on Monday. Cooking my breakfast. It's 11 o'clock, but whatever. George is about to leave for the gym. The baby will probably be ready in the next hour to take a nap, so then I will study a little bit, review some quizzes, and we will see. But as of right now, that's the plan. He's waking up from his nap. Let's go. What? Good morning. That didn't. How was your nap? How was your nap, baby? Oh, hi. Hi, baby. Can I take you? Did you ever go back to your bedroom? Come here to your mom. Come here to your mom. Come here to your mom. Hi. How was your nap, baby? How was the nappy time? It's now like 1.30. He fell asleep around 11.15. So we had a good nap. And now it's time for both of us to eat lunch, huh? Would you like to eat lunch, baby? <laughs> You're so cute. 
He's adorable when he wakes up, huh? Oh, yes, rubbed eyes. Mm -hmm. Lunch time, just having leftover sausage peppers from last night, a little bit of rice, some tomatoes. I'm having my salad with ham and one cheese stick inside, and then if he's still hungry, I have a cheese stick for him. So George went a little while ago and is taking my brother to Yakima because he's buying a monitor for his computer. I am I have some chicken cooking and we're just gonna make it with some casseroni. That's not healthy, but and I'm not gonna even try and stand here and say it's healthy. But it's like what we like to have with it sometimes. So we're gonna just do that. So I'm gonna start making that. The chicken is cut up and is cooking. I need to figure out what I'm gonna feed the baby. I think I might cook one of these sweet potatoes in the microwave and then maybe some of an avocado and maybe a few chicken nuggets or some other meat that we have in there. But I need to figure out what I'm gonna feed him because he's gonna get hungry in the next 30 minutes. He's gonna get cranky. You, can I get cranky? morning. It is Wednesday, February 3rd. I'm just opening up my smoothie because I'm eating this morning. Added chia seeds to it this time. We'll see how it is. Good. I did legs at the gym today, which was all right. Tried out the new leggings that I bought at Goodwill. They're like Capri. They were all right. They are rolling down a little bit, so they will fit better once I lose some love handles. So I think I'll hold on to them for a little bit, but I wouldn't wear these for leg day. Just because they were kind of, they have a seam at the top, so they were kind of rolling. But they're very compressive, which is nice. So they weren't like sliding down, it was just the waistband kept rolling down, so it was a little annoying. But now I'm going to do the dishes, wash all of his bottles. He did wake up a couple times last night for a bottle, but that happens sometimes. He must be going through a ghost spurt. And today is the first day of, he's sitting over there drinking a bottle after he woke up, but it's regular milk. So I think today will be day one of the first bottle in the morning being milk, uh, regular milk instead of formula, because why not? He doesn't seem to care. So that's a good idea. I haven't mentioned it to George yet, but I just did it and he seems to not mind, so. We're gonna do these dishes, go pee, put on clothes for the day, only because this band is gonna drive me nuts all day. If not, I would probably just wear leggings all day. But whatever outfit I pick may end up being leggings anyway. But we'll see what I end up wearing. I'll show you when I figure it out. I want to pick up this house today, probably run the vacuum. Actually, I think we ran the vacuum like two days ago, but clean the bathroom. I wanna clean the bathroom and like wash the bath mats and stuff in the washer. Wash our towels. Do a clean scrub of the counters probably. But I don't think we need a vacuum because we did that like two days ago. Clean off the table again. Look at these cute gnomes that I made with my mom. They're adorable. And my back has been hurting. But I feel like getting some stuff done today. So this is what I'm wearing. It's just this long sleeve shirt that I got from Goodwill. It has cute little slits on the side. My black joggers, black socks, my hoops, letting my hair air dry. What are you gonna wear? Cause you're not wearing that. That's got strawberries on it. But something comfy, cute, still functional cause it's got pockets. Oh, he found the room. That's nice. Just moved kind of everything in the living room. I lifted up our tarp thing, vacuumed, wiped off the table. Wiped off all the counters and the stove. Wiped off the top of the microwave and the toaster. The, the, cleaned the sink. And now we're just going to bring the tarp back in. But I was getting kind of tired of tripping over the wrinkles in it. So I think we're gonna like tape it down and cut it or something. I don't know. But I figured it would be easier to put it in here without everything in here, so that's what we've been doing. I'm still drinking my smoothie. It's about halfway gone. That's up it. Hi, baby D. Whoa, you look sleepy. Cranky boy. I'm surprised you slept through all the construction. 
Did you see him do the construction? Oh, that's so cool. we just had an interesting afternoon that we weren't expecting. Taco decided Taco decided he wanted to eat one of the baby's toys, and he got this little plastic part of a pig ear stuck in his mouth, and we could not get it out. And he's very, very anal about us touching his mouth. So we had to give him a little bit of Benadryl to like kind of like mellow him out a little bit. So that he wouldn't like he wouldn't even let George like see where it was. I could see where it was, but I couldn't get it out. But yeah, it was this little piece of pig ear. He does seem a lot his tongue, like he literally couldn't keep it in his mouth. And he was kind of like getting like a little you could tell he was in pain. So we gave him a little Benadryl and he seems a lot better now. But we had to get that out. Did he bite the shit out of you? Yeah, the usual, but no, no, no blood. That big, no, so. no blood at least. And now our child is crawling into the broiler. Declan, Declan. Excuse me. Troublemaker. But we dealt with tacos so that we didn't have to take him to the vet. Because if we couldn't get it out, we were going to have to take him to the vet because it could cause an infection. We'll still watch him the next day or two and make sure he's not acting weird and doesn't have any signs of an infection at all. But he's licking his chops, so that's a good sign. The peanut butter and the Benadryl did the trick. Now these two are going to go play outside. Declan. Hi, look at you in your little dinosaur shoes. While I cook dinner. We're making these pork tenderloins. We're baking them. We marinated one of them lightly. And then the other one, we're just leaving plain asparagus. Look, we're sitting on the baby's lap. It's so cute. Taco, good morning. Good morning, baby D. Good morning. They seem normal. I'm making myself a bagel, and then I think I'm just gonna have just a regular protein shake, not a smoothie, instead of an egg. And then I'm about to start making the baby's egg scramble with a couple strawberries for his breakfast. But just wanted to check in, say good morning. It is Thursday, I believe it's the 5th? Nope, Thursday the 4th. While the baby was eating, I took a shower. I didn't wash my hair today, because I did yesterday. Run my hoops, this green, like, short sleeve sweater. It's like kind of a crop top, which I don't, not used to, but it's paired with black, my black Fabletics leggings. I don't really work out in these anymore, but I do lounge in them. I do have socks, but I'm waiting. Once the baby's done eating, I'm going to clean him up, put on his clothes. Finally have a minute of peace and quiet without the TV noise on. I'm wearing my bathrobe over my clothes because I got a little cold. So I added that. <laughs> George was gonna take the baby outside, but he's already walking back, so I think he realized I was right and the baby's hungry. But I am going to study and drink coffee, of course. Back so soon? Yeah, he literally <laughs> came right back to the door. Oh, well, cool. Oh, cool, so cool. Taco, you wanted to be with me, huh? I, I thought that was gonna happen when Taco realized I wasn't going outside. He was gonna be like, wait, why am I out here? He goes, my mom's in here. My mom's in here. You wanna sit on my lap while I study? Is that what you wanna do? Is that what you wanna do, Taco? He said yes. So that's what I'm gonna do, drink my coffee. I'm gonna take that, um, the final exam, practice exam thing, the one that's 80 questions that will tell me the rationale when it was all said and done. We'll see if I do any better. I actually am curious what I got last time. I can't remember. Let's see. I have it on my... I took a picture of it so that I could remember. Let's see. I got a... Do, 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 do. Um... Cool, I can't find it. But I think it will tell me before I click on it anyway what I have. I want to say it's like a 64%, so we'll see. I'm hoping to get like at least 80%, but we'll see. I'm going to take that now, and I will catch up with you after. It'll be after the baby wakes up from a nap because probably I'll get a couple questions in, and then George is going to bring the baby back. But I'm going to do that. Relax a little bit when it's done. And then the baby will wake up, but before he goes to sleep, I'm going to prep my salad. That way all I have to do is whenever I'm hungry, I can just grab it out of the fridge. Yeah, taco. And I don't have to make a lot of noise opening the bags and all of that. Chris, what are you doing, puppy? Is this hanging out with me? 
You hanging out with me, Taco? Okay, Mr. Pup. He does feel better today, by the way. He went and played outside after his nap, and now he is sitting there flapping his arms. He put it outside in the mud. We designed, or not designed, but I finally took some footage on my phone for a new intro, which will probably be in this video, I'm guessing. So, we'll see. And now I have the chicken out, getting ready for dinner. I took my 80 question post test, and it did go up a little bit. It wasn't quite 80% like I wanted. It was 70%, but that was higher than last time, which was like 64%. But I did take notes of the different sections that I didn't feel confident in my answer, so I'm gonna just look through all those again. It is Friday the 5th. So it is much later than normal. Me going to the gym, it's 9.30. And that's only because when my alarm went off this morning, I turned it off, and it was one of those days where I was like, if I try to fall back asleep and I can, I will. If not, I'm gonna try it, and if within, you know, 15, 20 minutes, I haven't been able to fall asleep, then I'll just get up and I'll go to the gym. And I was able to fall back asleep, so I slept until about 7.30 when I felt George get up, but then I laid in bed for about another, it was almost an hour, and then the baby woke up. George was at the gym, he just came home, so now I'm going to the gym. It was just one of those days where I was like, if I can get the extra sleep, I'm gonna take it. Wow, there's a lot of cars on the side of the road. Um, it was just one of those days where I was like, if I can get extra sleep, I'm gonna take it because I'm tired. Because it's been a long week with like studying and all of that. So I did, I, I know I already updated you on how well I did on the post test, but, um, but there was something else I was gonna, oh, last night I did actually get to making a new vlog intro so let me know what you think of the new intro because that's going to be in this vlog because why not I'm pretty proud of it and I had some issues with it but then I fixed it so I think it turned out pretty okay at least for a first like a better intro than the one I had before it's at least updated even though Declan has mud all over his face sometimes you know he was playing outside and he was happy and I was like well now's a good time to do it because it's a nice day because it was really really nice out yesterday and it's really nice today too it's nice and sunny like no clouds it's 55 degrees according to my car so spring is starting I guess because this is about what it was like yesterday so I was like it's really nice outside let's just do it so I filmed it on my phone and so yes the baby had mud on his face because he was eating dirt he's a toddler what are you gonna do about it but I think I'm probably gonna end this vlog today I'll take you through today um, and then I'll probably put this up or at least edit it tonight we'll see if the internet cooperates enough for me to actually put it up because the internet's been really finicky the last like week or so Quinn butt and a spatula hey mr. deck one butt mr. cootie hi mr. cootie He's all red faced because we just went for a walk when he woke up. I did take the post test again and I got 88% this time. So 18% higher than yesterday. That's about it. I'm going to do these dishes and we're going to have healthy hamburger helper for dinner just because we have some that we need to use up that we bought like forever ago. So we're going to use that. But we just went for a little walk. Let's see how many steps I'm at. I am at. 4100 which is like not even halfway of what I need but maybe I'll I don't know we'll see oh you dropped your spatula he loves this little spatula that he found in our second drawer he's just been playing with it so that's what we've been doing so far that was it oh yeah all right Declan Declan you gonna get dad get dad Sorry, I'm having to talk quietly. We're trying to put the baby to sleep. 